Hi everybody. So, the window regulator on my 2014 Chrysler Town & Country failed and the window dropped down during rainy season for us here in Florida. So uh, I propped it up until I was able to order one on Amazon. It just came in. I looked online for a, a video and haven't really been able to find one that addresses exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, so I'm going to try to make one for anybody who's got the same issue. So I'm going to pull the door off here, uh, replace the window regulator, the motor is fine, and uh, hopefully you guys can learn from this. So I'll try to film as I go. Pretty simple process. Uh, right now my window is, um, is kind of shimmed up there. I didn't have any shims with me, but I used the uh, shims that I used for my flooring. Pretty simple. Pretty simple little shims and I jammed them in there, two of them in some places. Um, and that's holding the window up for the last four days until this came in. And the tools that you're gonna need uh, basically is, oops, sorry. The tools that you'll need is, uh, you know, a power screwdriver or drill or something like that you can put a bit on. Um, again, some of these shims, which you know you'll need if your window just fell down. These work awesome. These auto trim and molding openers. That'll help you from uh, losing, breaking plastic pieces off your door. I got that at Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. Um, a T27 socket, which uh, looks like this. It's a little star, but it's a big one. Um, it doesn't come in like a normal socket set, so you probably have to get this at a hardware store or at an auto parts store. Uh, some pliers and, you know, a little socket set, but that's really it. It's not too hard to do. So let's go ahead and get this thing taken off. Uh, to start off with, you're going to use a little 220 bit on the end of a screwdriver. Um, I'm using mine on my, my power drill here. And there's a spot right inside of this part of the door and one behind this handle. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in the way. Um, if you look behind the handle, you probably want to use a screwdriver. I'll try to do this while I'm holding the camera. And you just kind of pop that off and you expose the screw that's underneath. And again, use a, two, a T20 bit, and you can get that thing right out of there. It's hard to do this and film at the same time, sorry. And just make sure that you don't do what I just did, and drop your screws and lose them. Um, if you have the same model mine has, there's a great little umbrella holder that you can put all your screws in so you don't lose them. And then right down here, you wanna take this guy out little sometimes if you pry from underneath it's a little easier to get out of there sorry it's so bright out here it's hard to tell exactly what I'm filming there you go you can see it there and the same bit t20 removes that for you and that's all the screws that you're gonna need to get out of this thing for now um, the hard part now is trying to get all these clips off. And unless you know what you're looking for, you're not gonna be able to find the clips. Oh yeah, this thing too. It's gonna wanna pull that off. It might have a little resistance. It's got some clips on it. Just yank it straight out and it'll come out. So you wanna take that off first. And now the rest of this is just a matter of popping it out. Um, the best way that I've found to do it is to take a trim tool, kind of like this, something plastic. You can use a screwdriver if you need to. And uh, let me turn the music off, sorry. And just kind of climb under your car. Get yourself a little dirty. And look under here, this is the key spot. And you kind of want to pry it underneath here. And once you get this out just a little bit, you're going to see the clips. Hard to see here, but um, once you get this thing in there, it'll start to, you can start to pry it away a little bit. And you'll hear some clicking, and that's normal. Uh, let me see if I can find one in here that I can actually film. There we go. So if you pry it out, you'll see these little um, white pieces right here. And those are the clips that are holding it in. So if you, um, just kind of get in between them with your prior, kind of like this, with your little pry bar. And pry straight out, and then you won't break these things. You don't want to break them, because you want to be able to put your door back together. And then once you've got them off, it's just a matter of pulling 
this whole door off. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys. He's my little helper, man. Coming out to help me. And then you just kind of pull. You'll hear some pops, but that's normal. Pops, pops, and then what you do is you pick it up. Pull the door straight up, and then you can get to it a lot easier. Um, and then you can easily pull that thing out. So when you pull the door off, you're gonna have a couple wired connections here, and you're gonna wanna remove them first. Um, basically, they just attach down there at that light, and then here where the um, door opener and the window openers are. If you get those off, including the, um, the handle release cord, you'll be able to set the door aside. So I'm gonna put the phone down and do that now. And the next step is now to just remove these wires here. Um, I've already removed this here to disconnect the window motor, the regulator motor, and just uh, kind of pull these guys out. And there's also way up in here, which you'll see if you take off this little thing here, that's a little handy dandy compartment to uh, get up into this area. And it's kind of dark, so you hold need on. To, uh, remove that pin back there, that yellow little contraption, slide that out. And there's a wiring harness back there as well that you want to remove. And you'll be able to get this baby out. So the wires have been removed. Um, there's a little harness there, so I have to do the ones up in there. But to make it a little easier, use that same T20 bolt and remove these four screws and take the uh, speaker out. And that'll make it a little easier and give you another little access point to be able to remove the glass from the, the regulator. So in order to get to that hidden wire harness piece, you're kind of you're going to need to remove this part of the door here, and it's kind of a strange uh, little contraption they're asking for. You can either go buy one of these, and no, I do not know what it's called, or you can use this guy here, which is basically um, what is it? A T35 blade? A T, uh, T27. Sorry, it's a T27 star bit, and that will work here just as well. Um, just be careful. If they're in super tight, you don't want to strip them, but it will come out, at least in my case, with a T27 blade. And then once you get these out, you can uh, remove this part of the door. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Now this is the part that holds the window to the, the regulator as it goes up and down. And this is the part that I could not find on YouTube how to get, get it out. And I was kind of worried about this because I didn't want to break the glass. Because as you can see, it's this little plastic contraption here with a hole in it, which is great because some of the older models used to use glue and the glue would go bad after a few years. But it's so easy to do. You just put a little uh, a flathead screwdriver in here, pry up, and it pops right out the back. Hope you saw that. And then you can pull it out from there. But it's super easy and uh, not hard at all. So if you're doing this solo like me, you'll need to lower it just a couple more inches, rebrace it, and then down here where you took the speaker out is where you're gonna find the other side. So just do the same thing over here, and uh, sorry, not focusing on here, but stick the flathead screwdriver through there, release that, and then you'll have a free window. And then we're gonna lift it all the way back up, prop it in place so that we can remove this whole uh, black contraption here to put the new regulator in. So here is the back of the uh, black molded plastic attachment um, and this is what's left of my window regulator after it exploded on us um, yeah so that's why this needs to be replaced so I bought this on Amazon for around 30 bucks make sure you get one that fits your vehicle it has brand new window clips to it so that helps because one of these cracked while it was being taken off so Luckily, I don't need it anymore. So let's go ahead and start to disassemble. All you need to do is, uh, there are four screws like this, which again, use the T27 bolt, and then remove the, uh, the motor there. Hopefully, your motor didn't go, but if you need a new motor, this is how you would replace that. Take those three bolts off, and the whole contraption comes off. So the tricky part is getting this back in, if you've never done this before. Uh, it twists into this little X pattern, and if you bought the right brand, the right model that matches up, uh, the one I have clicks right in there, this little guide hole 
to get it in just the right spot. And there's three little uh, pieces here where the motor attaches that go right into those three holes that are there. So it should fit together just like a puzzle. If not, don't force it. You may have the wrong one. But in this case, it looks like I did get the right one. So now it's just a matter of reattaching everything. All right, so now she's all put back together. It's reattached on both sides. And it's time to slide her back in there. So again, installation is the reverse of taking it apart. So hopefully it's that simple. So start with a nice clean door. This is what it looks in there. See anything you wanna, now's a good time to shop back it out if it's not looking so good. And then you slide it right back in there, reattach the red and the uh, maroon or pink clip to those two clips there. Um, reattach the wire harness to uh, this little guy here. It's hard to see it, so I'll show it to you now. But the wire harness, the wire harness goes back into uh, this guy there, but it's kind of hard to do. So you may want to slide it in there before you really implant this thing. And that should be it. So let's go. And here's the finished product. The door's back together. It's working. The window goes up and down. So I hope this helps you uh, if you have the same issue. Again, this is for a 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. And I hope it's as simple for you as it was for me. Uh, please like the page if you enjoyed this and uh, hope it helps you.